In this video, we're going to cover some backlight and display settings for your Garmin GPS Map 67 67R unit. Just when we look at how we can achieve great battery life, but some other settings that may make the unit work better for you, depending on how you're using it. So normally when we look at a handheld GPS device, we always think of the screen backlight and how long the screen's on for is going to affect your battery. That's the main thing that affects how your battery is going to perform. Now with the new GPS Map 67 and 67i from Garmin, it's not so much an issue because we now have 180 hours battery life at what Garmin call default settings. So what are the default settings? As you've seen on my unit here, the screen went off after 30 seconds. The unit is still actually on in the background. If I press any button, the screen comes straight back on. So that is the first default setting. The other setting is in your satellite um, system settings, you only set it as GPS only to achieve that battery life. If you have got multiband set on, which of course is going to be more accurate, multi GNSS and multiband, you will use more battery than just GPS only. But having the screen go off after 30 seconds is going to achieve some amazing battery life. But not all of us need that 180 hours battery life. And we have a lot of customers asking us, can I not just leave the screen on for longer or all the time? Of course you can, that will use more battery, but we don't need to often achieve anywhere near 180 hours battery. Sometimes we just want a unit to be able to go out for two or three days walking before we charge it. So for that reason, we're just gonna show you some of the other settings where you can have the screen on all the time or some of the other options. But the first thing we always look at is how bright your backlight is. It's a transreflective screen. So when you're actually outside on a really bright sunny day, you don't need your backlight up at full brightness. So I've actually tapped my on off button now just the once. I've actually got my backlight at 100%. I'm inside at the moment, so it is a little bit duller inside. So we do normally have the backlight up quite high when you're inside. But what you can do, if I tap the power button and then tap it again, it goes to 0%. Tap the power button again, 80%, and then 100%. But what's a better way to adjust your backlight is while you've got the status screen on, you can use the plus and minus buttons to get it a little bit more precise. So if I tap the on off button once, so I've got the status screen, it only stays on for a few seconds, but while you've got it on the screen, I can hit the minus or the plus and you'll see the backlight changing. If I go right the way down, it goes to night vision goggles, if you were using night vision goggles, and 0%. But what I actually find is on a bright sunny day, I can have it set at like 20%. I don't need to have it high. And even at a night time, if I'm using a head torch and the head torch is shining on the unit, I can have that backlight quite low. So if I tap the on off button again, 20% I find works really well when it's a bright sunny day or I'm using a, um, at night time, I'm using a head torch. But of course, if it is a duller day or you're inside, just tap the on off button once and use the plus button to put your backlight back up. So that's the first thing we're looking at. So the minute you can see my unit is going off after 30 seconds, this is the default setting. I'm actually just gonna press my menu button twice to go to the main menu. Now when I change any settings here, they're only changed for whatever profile I am on. So if I go into profile change, I'm on my hike profile. So if you do want display settings changed for other profiles, you have to go back into profile change and into the other profiles you're using. But I'm just gonna change it for my hike profile. So menu button twice, I'm gonna go into setup and then it's display. This is where all of your settings are. So as default, we've got the backlight timing out after 30 seconds. And where it says always on display, that is off. That means the display isn't always on. And basically after 30 seconds, the screen goes black. I'm just gonna change this to 15 seconds just for speed on the video. So you're not waiting for 30 seconds for the change. So if I now say always on display is off, it's basically telling me now that the screen, so it's now always on display is on, should I say. So I've got the little blue tab here, always on display on. Basically means after 15 seconds, the screen will just go dim, but it will actually still be on. So I'll just show you on the map page now. So we've got the full brightness at the minute, depending on what backlight setting you've set. And then what happens after 15 seconds, rather than the screen going off, 
we actually get a duller display. Now, if it was a lovely, bright, sunny day, the sun actually shining on that screen or a head torch would actually be fine to view. It's just because I'm inside the building at the moment. And then if I press any button, see I press the minus button, plus button, any of the buttons, it comes back on at full brightness. So I'm just gonna press the menu button twice again and go into settings and into display. I can go backlight timeout and say stay on and always on displays on. That basically means the screen will not go dim and it won't go off. That is gonna use a lot more battery because of the amazing battery life in this unit, we're finding if you still wanna go out for, for multiple days walking, you know, go out for a couple of days, um, Again, it's one of those things to test. Every environment's gonna be different. It'll depend if you have got the multi-GNS and dual frequency on, but we find a lot of customers who don't need to go for that 180 hours and leave the screen on longer. I think the main tip is if you are leaving the screen on all the time, don't have your backlight up full. So tap the power button, have the backlight down lower. If you're outside on a lovely sunny day, you'll find you can have it down at 20%. The sun actually reflects back out of the screen, so just don't leave it on all of the time. Just gonna show you one last tip so you know that your unit's still on when you have got the screen going off, which we've got on the 67 and 67R unit. Just gonna go back into setup. Just gonna actually put the brightness back up so it's easier for you to see. So back into setup and display, and I'm gonna put this back to 15 seconds and turn off the always on display so it will go black after 15 seconds. But one nice feature of the unit, when the screen goes off, we do actually have an LED light on the top that flashes to indicate that your unit is still on. So a lot of customers, if you really want to eke out and get that much bigger battery, you will have it set so the screen goes off after so many seconds, still recording in the background. But now if I turn the unit round and just show you on the top of the unit, you'll just see periodically a little green flash of a light that's telling me that my unit is still on, so I don't accidentally leave it on. So if I turn it back round and then just press any button, screen is straight back on for my 15 seconds. And of course, when I'm finished an activity, saved my recording and I want to turn the unit off, it's just remembering, hold in the on off button. And when you hold that in, screen's off. And then I know I've got the little power symbol to show it's turned off and I won't have the green light flashing on the top anymore. So I hope you found this video useful on just utilizing some of the display settings and backlight settings. And again, the main reason for this was we're looking at a unit now that potentially has 180 hours battery when you're using GPS only and the screen going off after 30 seconds. If you're using the in-reach function, which I've got here, where you can have the unit tracking every 10 minutes, but the screen going off after 30 seconds, you can potentially get 165 hours when you're doing the in-reach tracking. If you do leave the screen on all the time, you're not gonna achieve those sort of figures, but you're still gonna get great battery life. But just remember that tip about tapping the on off button once and using the minus and plus buttons to put your backlight down. You certainly don't want backlight up above 50% when you're on a bright sunny day and the sun is shining on the screen or you've got a head torch. Just remember if you have purchased the GPS device from GPS Training, you get one year's gold support included with your purchase, which gives you email and telephone support from ourselves and access to all of our online training videos that go into a lot more detail on getting to grips and using your, your unit. If you haven't bought a 67, 67i from us, you can go to our gpstraining.co.uk website and under the GPS store, we have support packages available to purchase. So I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.